Hey, it's me, Josh. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube in quite a while, nor has the quality of the content I've put out been consistent. But that's always kind of been my thing. Um, inconsistent quality, inconsistent content on an inconsistent basis. Um, I do want to start putting more content out soon. Um, is kind of settled down a bit. But I want to talk today about the whole channel awesome fiasco and my feelings because that's a thing right now. Everyone's kind of weighing in on it and I wanted to weigh in on it because um, I wasn't someone who was directly involved with the site but I was involved I feel like in a lot of the kind of radial activities surrounding it. Um, in 2011, I made a series of videos called I Want to Be a Reviewer, where I comedically covered kind of the back end of trying to be a reviewer online, like how to set up sets and making intros and outros and title cards and music and stuff like that. Things that I thought were humorous and weren't necessarily covered by the slew of videos that were out uh, presently. And I thought it was very clever, but, you know, I never got a response from Channel Awesome. Uh, I did get picked up by another website called Ocean of Bees, which I was very grateful for. And um, a lot of the guys over there I continue to be friends with, and we hope to relaunch the website at some point. Um, besides the point, uh, I want to talk about kind of my experience with Channel Awesome, kind of from the outside looking in. Um, I feel like at that time, there was such a large group of people They were so eager to be a part of that world, to get into the website and, and gain that recognition. And, like, we all worked so hard. Like, I know there was, there was me, and there was a lot of people that were involved in the forums at that time. They were always constant with their uploads and their videos and sharing and promoting, and they did a really great job. And we just never gained any traction with the Channel Awesome. Um, but we all worked really hard. Like, really, really hard. And all out of our own pockets. So, in that regard, it's unfortunate. The thing I wouldn't change, though, is that it kind of gave me a greater appreciation for the people that did work that hard and the kind of effort we put forward. And I was very proud of the videos I made then. I still am. I'd love to pick that series back up. And I feel like it's something that's still relevant. Because you could just as easily continue that series with I want to be a reviewer with like I want to be a YouTuber. Like it's a very kind of very similar world. Um, it's difficult because now all these things have come forward about Channel Awesome that, you know, changes my feelings towards it. Because like, I mean, I was in. Like, I bought the merch. Like, I was down. And now all these things have come forward, and it really, you know, it hurts to know that these kind of practices were taking place. And these people that we were, you know, admiring and, and idolized and trusted, you know, weren't the people we thought they were. Um, it's just hard. It's hard to see, like, your idols kind of fall from those heights, but... You know, we tried. We tried really hard, and I'm proud of what I did, and I know the people that appeared in my videos, and the ones I also watched that would hope to gain some traction were also um, very proud, and I was proud of them. But yeah, that was just my two cents, and um, I don't know what to do with these now. Not worth much, which is sad. But um, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos where I actually just converse with you and have a conversation, that is what converse means, um, just slap a like on here, subscribe, check out my other stuff. Uh, I do plan to get more regular with my content now that things have settled down, and I've lost a lot of weight, which I guess I could make a video about, but I feel like there's already a lot of videos about that. But either way, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you again soon.